This is what we're making today. All weather beauty. This is a mackerel. We're gonna begin by cutting off its head. We're gonna make an incision just behind the gill and then cut off the backbone. Next, we're gonna make an incision right down the backbone from where the head was cut off down to its tail. We're gonna keep slicing until we hit the belly and then we're gonna stop. You don't want to cut all the way through. Once we touch the belly, we're simply going to open this fish up and keep it spread. Now that the fish is opened up, we're going to pull out all its innards. At this point, there's no way out of it, you're going to have to use your hands and just pull it out. And once everything is out, we're simply going to use our knife and scrape the rest off. And these are the fish guts. Now we're going to flip the fish meat side down. This part right here is the dorsal fin. That's how we know that the backbone is attached to this side of the fish. We're going to make another incision from tail to head and we're going to cut that backbone right out. And again, once you reach the other side of the fish, stop and do not cut all the way through. We're going to turn the backbone vertical and make a slice all the way down to the tail. At this point, you won't be able to simply slice through. You're gonna have to use some force. So we're gonna take our knife and slam it cut. And now we've extracted the backbone of the fish. Next, we're gonna score the back of the fish on the skin side. Traditionally, this fish is grilled, but it's in the middle of the night and it's raining outside. So we're gonna boil it in the oven instead. So instead of the heat coming from the bottom, the heat will simply come from the top. And the reason why we're scoring this is when the heat comes from the top, the heat will surround the meat and cook the fish evenly. Now, in a bowl, we're going to add in 500 milliliters of sake and 50 grams of salt. The original recipe was actually asking for 500 milliliters of water, but I felt a little crazy, so we're going to use 500 milliliters of sake instead. We're going to mix that with a 10% concentration of salt, which is 50 grams, and give it a really good mix. Once it's thoroughly mixed, we're going to lay our fish in there and let it soak for one hour. While we wait, we're going to go shred some daikon. This is a daikon radish, we're simply going to peel it and then shred it. This will come as an accompaniment for the fish. It goes really well with grilled fish. After one hour, we're going to take the fish out of its brine. We're going to lay it down on a drying rack and let it dry overnight in the fridge. After 24 hours, this is our fish. The flesh and skin side has completely dried out. Now we're going to throw it into the oven with the flesh side up with the broiler setting on and let it broil in there for 3 minutes. After 3 minutes, the flesh side is about 60% cooked. Now we're going to flip the fish over and crisp up the skin. We're going to throw it into the oven for another 3 minutes or until the fish is cooked all the way through and the fish skin is nice and brown and crispy. After a total cooking time of 6 minutes, this is our fish. Now let's play. If you guys didn't know, today is Kazuha's birthday, so happy birthday to him and here's your specialty. If you guys didn't know, All Weather Beauty is based off the Japanese dish, Himono. 
Only vegans could feel this, but the skin of the fish is nice and crispy. Even though we dried the fish overnight, because we brined it and the mackerel is naturally oily, the fish is quite moist. And of course, we have to eat this with rice. Now I know I've been complaining about some of these Genshin recipes not being that great, but this one right here tastes really good. It's well seasoned because it was brined for one hour, the skin is very crispy, and the flesh is very moist. I know you guys didn't see it, but I finished half this dish in one sitting. So here's the move guys. Take this fish, a little bit of this daikon right on top of the fish, and then we're going to pour a little bit of soy sauce on it, and then into our mouth. We're going to chase it with a little bit of rice, and then mmm 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 delicious. Anyways, that's it for Kazuha's specialty. If you guys like what you see, hit the like button. And if you guys have any suggestions on what you cook next, please post in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. This fish is actually really good. I'm going to have to do this again.